Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Dylan Ironshield, and this is another Lotro guide, my friends. So, I have a little quick tip for you. This is the really good tip for Stable Masters, okay? So, um, when it comes to Stable Masters, there's a little bit of a trick that's good for everyone to know. When you go to a Stable Master located in an area, so let me just show you for an example. We're going to use Moria, right? This is a good one. And then you have the 21st Hall. The 21st Hall is considered a main city or location in, um... Middle Earth. So the way they do Stable Masters is when you travel around, there are options of traveling. So for example, this Stable Master, I'm going to right click him. He only has one location. You can only travel to the 21st Hall from this location. Usually when Locho designs travel locations, they have in mind different quests, okay? So, and like different things you're supposed to do. So for example, this place, really the only place you're really going to want to go from here is the 21st Hall. But let's say, if we look at this Stable Master over here, at Zurek Zagil, right? This place up here. What if I want to go there? Well, it's weird that the Stable Master is right there and I can't take a fast travel or even a travel with the Stable Master to that other one. Well, here's the trick, okay, guys? Go take a swift travel to the main place, which is the 21st Hall, right? And this works the same for, like, Breland or, um, both North, Southern Bree and West Bree, the horse locations, are places you can travel to anywhere in the world. So again, now that I'm here in Kaza Doom, look at how many options, I mean, in the 21st Hall, it's made kind of the main city in Moria. Draw you have so many options. And now, if you're, you know, of course, if you don't know how to use it, I have a thing talking about the horse thing. But real quick, guys, there are organizers, a little plus and minus button here, right, that you can... You can open and shut things and look for where you want to go. Well, we want to go to Moria, so we're going to click the plus here. So look at, oh my gosh, look at all these options now. Oh, look, that's where we wanted to go. Now, granted, it's not a swift travel option. Sometimes there will be a swift travel option, which is the little horse icon, and sometimes it won't be, right? So, for example, the Shadow Refuge, they have a swift travel option, and they don't. Occasionally, you'll need a respect level to travel, right? I have a whole video on respect if you want to check that out. Um, you'll need a certain respect level, but usually most places will be, main places will be easy to travel to. So now I can quickly, if I wanted to, there, unfortunately there's not a swift travel, but I could go AFK and let it travel me over to my location, right? It'll travel me there for me, right? So I can just stay travel and I can go use the restroom or go get a drink of water and my character will just walk. I don't have to walk with my own mount, right? Now again, it's a little faster usually with the travels. They're usually faster than riding mounts, even if you have the increased speed. Like I do, all my mounts get 78% because of the one special. There's a trait you can buy, right? Which um, I can give you a little link there, but it's like um, Expedient Traveler. Uh, no, excuse me. That one is an increase for your map speeds, cooldowns. I have a video on that as well. Let's just stick to the traveling here. So again, it's faster usually to take a regular one, even if it's not a swift travel, instead of just riding with your mount. Again, I'm using my mouse right to move around right now with this mount. So again, one last thing. I didn't want to make this a very long video. I want to make it very precise. So now let's say I want to get somewhere else in the world the and I have options of, you know, oh, I can go here, here. Again, if they're yellowed, that means you haven't either, well, either of two things. You haven't learned that location yet or you have not, um, you don't have the respect, right, to travel there. Usually it means you haven't gone there and clicked. That's why in my Lotro Tales, I always say if you see a horse place, right, with a little thing floating over the NPC and says Stable Master, make sure you go up and right click it. Draws Just open it once and it'll do this little effect and you basically have learned it, right? There's also another trick if you want to know which ones you own, learn, know and don't know on that particular character. It's not account wide, it's per character learning the locations, okay? That's another really important tip that you need to know. Um, so if you go to collections and you go down to the bottom tab, you can see this. And this is every horse stable master in the, the entire map, okay? Including the Moria ones, you can see right there, right? And you can pull the little bars down and move around to the lower parts. But again, as you can see, this character, sometimes things will be automatically known. Uh, like, automatically, you'll just be able to do it. And other times you have to right-click and learn it. Again, my character knows a lot of Eriador because he's in the level 60s. I haven't really passed Lothlorien very much. You can see I have a few Lothlorien stables I've learned. So, again, this is something you have to do as you go. It shows you how many are in the total up there at the top. I have another video on that if you want to look more on that map. But, anyway, again, with the tips. So, now let's say the I want to go somewhere else in Middle-earth. Well, I can take a swift travel to, um, to Bree, right? So, I can go from here. I can go Minas... Minus, um, I can find the Bree Lands. Again, Rohan, you actually, now off the top of my head, you can't actually do a swift travel from here to Bree. That is a little bit of a tricky thing. A lot of people are like, well, how do I get back? Well, you can go all the way out to a certain location, and this is where it kind of traveling is kind of tricky, 
right? So again, if you wanted to at this point, I would have to take a travel to, an actual travel over to the Dolphin View, and from Dolphin View, I'd have to go over to a Durn's Threshold, so I could take a fast travel to Durn's Threshold, right? But again, I can't get to Durn's Threshold from here, so I'd have to go to the Dolphin View Swift Travel. It's the closest location, and then I'd be able to go to there, right? And then I'd have to probably walk out and go to this one, and if I went out to this one, I bet you it would have a Swift Travel, because it's like one of the main places in a region. You probably have a Swift Travel to South Bree. That is my, my bet off the top of my head right now. I bet it does. But I do highly recommend if you have a map, one of the best spots to keep your map bound, if you have an extra milestone map, I just, this is highly recommended, especially when you're doing things in the horse places, keep it bound to South, South Bree right here, right there. All right? Because you can always go to this sale master and he has connections to most all big locations in the world. Bree is kind of still a hub for kind of the game. It's one of the biggest hubs. And if you don't, take a swift travel over to the other side, West Bray, and it'll have connections to everywhere else. So for example, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick that little example here by traveling there very quickly. So I'll show you a little Durian trick here. Returns soon to his halls. Again, if you, you can spend a mithril coin to get to the location. If you can't travel, let's say I wanna spend a mithril coin to get to the location. For example, if I'm, I'm like, okay, I want to get to, um, I want the fastest way to get to Bree. Well, I know if I go to one of these other large locations, I will get be able to take a fast travel to Bree, okay? So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take one to, um, we're gonna go to Dale, okay? Again, it's a higher level location, it's minimum level 90. That's one of the reasons probably why I can't take it too, I haven't learned it yet, but that's okay, I can still go there, right? I'm using Mithril Coin. I would highly recommend not using a Mithril Coins too much because they kind of, those are kind of rare to get, right? So anyway, but I will show you now the trick. Okay, so now that I've got here with the Mithril Coin, I can right, don't forget if you use a Mithril Coin to right click the Stable Master. See how the Stable Master color is this weird bluish color? That means I haven't learned it. So if I right click it, what do you need? I see that little effect around me and now it's not blue. Now I have all these options, right? Now, as you can see from here, I actually can't travel because you need to be a minimum level of 90 to unlock visiting this, uh, to travel there, okay? But I'm just gonna use another Milford coin to get to Bree because it's faster. And I really wanna show you the last trick in Bree. So again, I can do that because I have Mithril coins waiting around. Again, this is uh, Dale, by the way. Dale, yes, the Dale by Erebor. All right, so now that we're here at Bray, again, one of the reasons I'm not able to travel around because of the level, there's a level issue there. So sometimes you can't travel because it's respect, sometimes it's because you haven't learned the place yet, and sometimes it's because it's a level issue. But usually the Mithril Coins lets you bypass all three of those things. Sometimes the respect one not, but it just depends. How but anyway, now I'm here, and if you see from here, Southern Bree has so many options, you guys. You can basically travel almost anywhere in the world. Mordor, Gundabad, uh, Ered Lewin, Dunland, Bree, anywhere in Breeland, the Entomors, the Lowlands, Trollshaws, Western Gondor. It's pretty much the entire map. So if I open these all up again, as you can see, a lot of them I don't know because I'm not either the right level or I haven't learned. But from here, I can go to Rivendell, this one, anyone. And then if there's, if your option still isn't here, again, by the way, the binding thing I was telling you about, if you have extra milestone skill to use, it's not a lot of people only have one, but I highly recommend if one goes on sale, get a second one. And then I also highly recommend for milestone skills, get the expedient traveler and the other one. One's a 25 minute reduction, one's a 30 minute reduction, and those add up. So all your milestone skills have a same cooldown. They're all five minutes. It's a huge benefit for travel, you guys. Um, so there's the milestone skill that I like to use to bind to. In fact, I'm gonna follow my own, my own suggestion here, and I'm gonna bind one of mine to it. So I wanna use that one. I'm gonna do this one. So I have three of them. So there we go. So now I can always travel back to this this horse place because it's a very good spot and Bree's very convenient because you have a lot of the stuff right here, the amenities that you need to what use, need? right, in this game. So now I'm going to travel over for 80 copper. By the way, if yours is one silver, it's because I have a respect thing in Bree. I've done a certain deed and it's reduced the cost of my travel in Bree land by a certain amount. That's why. You're curious. That's another side note. Good little tip. But again, not a huge difference in money there. 20 silver, 20 copper, but you know. That's how it goes. So now if I go here, how if you notice, he has a bunch more options to go all over. He's got Edmundim, Forachel, North Downs, Shire. He's got a bunch of more options. And then there's some other things like these festival grounds. This will teleport you north, the festival grounds. These are nice. They're around too as well. But anyway, those are some tips for you guys for horse travel. I hope that that helps you out. Uh, we did that under 10 minutes. So hopefully there's a lot of nuggets in there of information. Uh, there's still other stuff that I could add as well. Please leave comments if you have a question. I am 
happy to answer it. Um, and I have other a couple other videos on like the map too and stuff of the travel map and things. If you want to check them out on this same playlist on the channel. If I earned it, subscribe button's there. Thank you to my Patreons here. Next episode's up there for guides and a low tail and main content's over there. With voiceovers in Middle Earth and the Lord of the Rings online. You guys have a great day in Middle Earth and I'll see you all in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.